Anyways, yeah, look at all the people over here. Specifically, just to look at the Siberian Tigers, you guys. Look, look at this big group of people right there. Man, this is awesome. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Looking at this one girl right here, really cold. Reminds me, I need to... Oh, man, how's this thing damaged? What? How could this thing possibly do... There is nothing here. Unless people damaged it? Maybe. Let me call a mechanic over here, though. I am very curious about that. Mechanic, you're going to be coming here every three months. Uh, vet every three months and keeper every month. So there you go. Definitely want to do the same thing over here to the Siberian Tigers. And, uh... Oh, keeper, keeper hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they are, they're pretty close to this over here. I don't think we need to build another staff area over here. Like we did with the, uh, the staff area over here. I don't think we need to do that because they're, like, right next to this one over here, you know? So don't need to do that. But I may, if anything, maybe I'll build like an exhibit area over here. Just because the only other exhibits we have are all the way over here. So maybe I'll build like some exhibits and you know, put whatever we don't have over here. Maybe we'll put uh, exhibits for them like over here instead. And maybe we'll maybe we'll even slip them in like on this corner right here, you guys. Maybe have like a, an, a square right here and then have like four exhibits, kind of like we have a square over here. Maybe we could do the same thing for this. Just put it on this corner. And then everything from like right here to the left can be shops, you know, Chief Beef, or, uh, well, I didn't mean to specifically say Chief Beef right there, <laughs> but, you know, food, drink, shopping, information booth, all that kind of jazz. Anyways, what's going on over here? What's that thing? What is that? That's not their feeder thing, is it? Their feeder's all the way over there. Why is the... Oh, yeah, I don't know why it happens sometimes, but whenever there's, like, a... Oh, 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 we have a... Oh, we have a cub! We have a cub! I didn't even think they were going to breed that fast, you guys. Holy heck! Look at that! How old is this guy? Literally a brand new, look at that, 0, 0.0 years old juvenile already. I, I guess he didn't have a baby stage. Look at that guy. He literally just looks like a small version of these guys. Like, it, <laughs> there's nothing like, uh, like, like at least with the Arctic Wolves little pups, you can see them physically, like, differentiated from the adults, but uh, these guys, not so much. It literally just looks like a smaller version of the adults. Anyways, what was I doing over here? I was doing something. I got distracted. I don't know what I'll say. <laughs> oh yeah, I was talking about the exhibits and then having some shops over here. But yeah, that's just me thinking out loud about what we could do with this brand new area over here, you guys. Uh, oh yeah, because we do have this empty uh, exhibit or uh, empty habitat over here. Let's go over to animal trading. And I don't know, maybe we will put timber wolves over here. They might be. Actually, we can go to the Zoopedia and read about it, right? Let's go over there. Uh, oh, there it is right there. Oh yeah, they want way more land though. 1,100 square meters of land. The uh, Siberian Tigers one is 700 square meters, so this one is probably like 600 if I had to guess. Maybe we could actually put them in this area here, but I, I still want to... Let's actually see what else there is on the market, though. So we got Timberwolves there, Snow... Oh, Snow Leopard! That'd be pretty good. Zoopedia, species data, natural habitat. So, okay, so another one right there, 705, so basically the same as the uh, Siberian Tigers here, you guys. That could be really good for the future. To put maybe not right here because this one's probably like 600 square meters if I had to guess but maybe like right here we could do the same thing build like a, a hump in the middle right there and then the uh the snow leopard would have the bigger uh habitat there that could make sense because that one is probably going to be around 700 uh, square meters kind of like the uh, Siberian tiger one so snow leopard yeah definitely want to get them reindeer already have them polar bear how big do they want their enclosure six thousand whoo that's big. And they want some water, too. And, uh, doesn't say anything about climb requirements right there, but, whew, 6,000 square meters. I don't even know what we could do. Maybe over here, I could just have, like, literally, like, from this end all the way over to this end and call that the heckin' polar bear area. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how big the, uh, the grizzly bear area back in our, uh, regular series, uh, back in that Canada that I keep bringing up. I don't know if that one was ever 6,000 square meters, because that was a heckin' huge grizzly bear area there, you guys. And of course, polar bears, they're a bear too. Oh, we have stuff going on. What's this, another disease? Why is it called another keeper over here? Golly. Oh, another call keeper over here too. Golly. Maybe I'll hire another keeper. We hired, we just hired one. I don't know if that was before or after us getting the, the Siberian tiger, but it definitely makes sense to at least get another keeper here, you guys. Oh, whoa, what? what? This one has a higher workload. Which one are you? This one is the one that does everything. Okay. So, oh man, that, no, that's the new one. Yeah, that's the new one because it only has one star of uh, training right there. So, yeah. Uh, speaking of new, let's get another keeper right here. There you go. So, you can take care of everything too. 
Hopefully I clean up all the heck of stuff. Do I have any other staff that are uh, low training? Oh yeah, the uh, the new vendors and stuff. Yeah, they're low trained. So let's definitely get them trained. And uh, the brand new uh, keeper right there, we can't do anything with her either. Oh wait, no, that's the one that we just uh, did training. That's the new keeper. We can't do anything with her. It takes a little while. There's a little bit of a buffer between you hiring them and being able to train them. So I gotta wait a little while for that. Anyways, I feel like the park is in a fantastic spot right now. Oh man, mechanic research is done. We have climbable stuff now, you guys. Let's see. Boom, shelters and climbing. Oh yeah, that's probably going to get us uh, new shelters over here too. So let's go over to your habitat. Let's go over to your best shelters. Oh yeah, now we got these like metal things. So I wonder if these would be better because they're like technically like sturdier, I guess. Yes, yeah, so, like this would be better. Yeah, this would be just be physically just better. Uh, let me get rid of both of these though. There you go, because it's basically the same thing, but it's just made of metal. So there you go, and then of course, uh, there you go. We did read that uh, it doesn't matter if a, of it having a pup in here. So having a male and a female, and then a pup is fine, or a cub. It doesn't matter if it has a cub in here, male and female. That's technically over the uh, the population limit, but that only counts for adults. So as long as this cub over here stays juvenile, adolescent, or whatever else, <laughs> uh, once it turns into an adult, we're probably going to have to get rid of the male. Probably the male. Oh, whoa, it's climbing the tree. Did you guys see that? Probably going to have to get rid of both the male and the female or just... Oh, whoa, look at that playing. Playing with the mom or the dad over here. Oh, my gosh. That is so cute. <laughs> Man. What is that one? Oh, it's the mama right there. Nice. Oh, you can even hear it and stuff. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what I was saying right there. Oh, yeah, but it, I'm probably going to have to either release the, the cub or release both... Oh, God. That's, uh... It's not getting monetized here, you guys. Either release the cub or the both the parents. And it looks like the cub is up there climbing up in the trees, you guys. Looks like he's having some fun, so that's cool. <laughs> awesome stuff. Anyways, uh, how, oh yeah, let's just see what they're, uh, what is it called? Park shelter is only 16? No, what? It physically showing, or it's physically covering, maybe even put that in the ground. It's physically covering, like, basically the same amount of area as the previous one, but for some strange reason, it's, uh... Ah, I'll put three mediums in here, and that'll, that'll be fine. For some reason, we have less hard shelter now, so that's kind of weird. Anyways, let's get rid of that now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, now we got one boxed up randomly right there. I don't know why, but, uh... There you go, unbox. Unbox all. There you go. Whenever you, like, edit a building that's, like, close to an animal, the animal will, like, get boxed up for some strange reason. It looks like the, uh, the cub and one of the parents just climbed up that tree, so that's cool. Hopefully they don't heckin' use the trees to kind of prop themselves out of here over the heckin' ten-foot barriers there, golly. <laughs> Anyways, oh, that research complete, and it's probably for the Siberian Tiger. And no, it's for the Arctic Wolves. Well, <laughs> they just finished with the Arctic Wolves, so that's good. Uh, so now we could have the vet completely free and open to, uh, just kind of tend to care to any of the animals that might be injured or have a disease or whatever else, that's good. They're not going to be, like, tied up, you know, researching stuff. Anyways, I feel like we're in a really good spot right now, you guys. If anything, the only thing I'm, I'm kind of, like, torn about, though, is this heckin' hard shelter. I really don't know what we could do with that because there's not really that much space in here. I don't want to put a giant heckin' hard shelter thing in here, <laughs> you know? So, maybe, maybe we'll just leave it as is. Shelter space is critically insufficient to cover all animals. Oh, I guess hard shelter probably went down because we have that cub. So I wonder, just for curiosity's sake, what if we got one of those bigger ones? Would that be too big? This might be fine. i place this down here instead of this one. What if I got rid of that one then? Yeah, just get rid of that, $290. Losing a little bit of money there, but whatever. Uh, so what is this one? Yeah, that's a steeper one. Let's get this one that's a little bit shorter. If I got this, put it like right here. There you go. And then put some medium beddings inside. So there you go, just scatter them in like that. There you go. Now what's their hard shelter rating going to be? Uh, 73! What in the world? What shot up? Oh yeah, and then another one was like near that. Oh, whoa, what in the world? Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, like, what? Do we have four in here? But no. This must be one of the other adults, and it is. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I guess now we have really good, uh, we could probably sink that in the ground like I did earlier. Now we have really good uh, hard shelter rating, so that's awesome. Uh, can I push that back or whatever else? That's yeah, pretty close to the wall there. It's actually a pretty good view of the uh, the area here, you guys. Like you could actually physically look through the the gate here and even look through the hard shelter and still see them laying down sleeping and whatever else. So that's cool, and that's a perfect sign right there. Do not disturb. That's perfect right there. Mix them sleeping and stuff. 
What's this one? Oh, doll sheep. Another alpha status thing? Didn't I just... Oh, let's see. Looks like they're about to fight right here. Hold on. Which one do I want to get rid of? 5.5 years old, 6.1. Let's get rid of the older one. So, uh... Oh, there it is right there. Released to wild. So, boom. Conservation status, not too good, but whatever. There you go. Now you're out in the wild. <laughs> so, there you go. We got we got that problem solved. So, that's awesome. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, we're in such a really good position right now, you guys. I'm kind of thinking about doing the exhibit uh, and the shop idea here off camera just to kind of get that done. Because you guys have already seen me make the exhibit thing. I'm basically going to be doing the same thing I did over here. But instead of having it like that, I'm just going to have it on this corner. And it's probably not going to be as big either. But I'm, I'm probably going to have the same, like, building here with the four exhibits in there. And then I guess we'll look at the exhibit trading and see what four creatures we don't have in there. And put them over here in these exhibits. And then uh, I'll see what shops and drinks and information booths and all bathrooms all that kind of stuff. That we can slip in over here and uh, hopefully take advantage of people and have that can spend more money on us, right? <laughs> but uh, for right now, like I said, oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to need, uh, hold on, let me, let me copy this. I completely would have disregarded this, but let's get one of these, because we have this new pathway here in the middle. Definitely want to have a, uh, education board in here, too, you guys. So let's definitely get that in here. And right there is probably fine. That's good. And that's going to be displaying for Siberian Tiger. Let's look at education rating. Oh, that's already on education range, so that's good. So that's fine, honestly. If anything, maybe I'll get rid of the speaker. Just because I do not like having speakers when they overlap habitats like that, you know? So I guess that'll be something I'll have to do here pretty soon. But look at that. We've got a really good education board right there. A really good spot for them. And hopefully people are going to get really nice and educated. I can physically see the uh, the barrier here getting damaged, though. 73% might want to call him mechanic over, though. Vet research. Probably Himalayan tiger. And it, or I called it a Himalayan tiger again. A Siberian tiger. It's in that general area, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we got another one done for them. So I wonder what it was. What did we just unlock right there? Let's go over to research status. Looks like we got the prey scented sack, so that's cool. Let's go place that down over here. So habitat. I don't know what that is. Food? No, it's fun. Okay, let's place that down. Uh this blood scent thing. Let's place it like right here. We don't have like anything right there. So hey, let's place it down like right there. And that should be good. I'm like they're already good on their fun rating right now, but I don't I don't think it really matters too much if they have a lot of fun, right? <laughs> I guess you can't have too much fun. Anyways, like I said, they don't go to pause the recording. Build an exhibit, build some shops, all that kind of jazz. And when we come back, we're going to figure out what exhibit creatures we're going to put in this brand new exhibit I'm going to be building right here. So, good pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back, and I did do a little bit of progress between this clip and you guys just saw. As you can see, I, I placed down the, what do you call this, the exhibit area over here. Placed down a big, it's like a double bathroom over here. Oh god, the game literally just crashed. Alright guys, I am back. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it doesn't crash like 20 seconds into me recording this again, but as you can see, I, I placed down the exhibits over here. I placed down like a large bathroom over here that has two bathrooms right next to it because I thought, you know, that, that fit in pretty well over here. And of course, we do need bathrooms as well. I did also place down a large like shop place over here. And uh, in the middle here, we have information. Over here on the right, we have Missy Good, which I think is like a donut shop or something like that, right? Yeah, you see we've got donuts back there and just kind of like donuts in those bags. Oh yeah, and you can see donuts on the menu right there, so that's kind of cool. So we've got a dozen donuts right here on the little little thing right there, so that's pretty cool uh, for food. But I do have a mechanic researching uh, drinks right now because we do not have a, a drink shop that we don't already have. Because right now, I believe if we go over to mechanics, I think the next research we get is like the juice shop, right? Or the milk... Wait, hold on. Which one? Oh yeah, 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 the juice shop, I think. So we should get pip shot juice because uh, I think... Cosmic Cow Milkshake, I think that's the newest one you I, Wait, hold on. Maybe it's not? Maybe we're working on the Milkshake one? Well, we have Cosmic Cow here. Is this Milkshake or is this- Oh! Yeah, this is Cosmic Cow Ice Cream right here. Okay, I thought I thought we already had that, but no, that's Cosmic Cow Ice Cream. So, yeah, instead of the Pip Shop Juice that we're getting right now, we're uh, working on- What's it called again? Cosmic Cow Milkshake, I think? Yeah, Cosmic Cow Milkshake. So, that's what we're going to be getting on the drink, so that's cool. So that, that, that indicates that's the one that we're working on right there. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, anyways, let's see what we have over here. I think we have, a, yeah, we have a vet research complete, probably for the tiger. And it is Siberian tiger right there. Noise. All right, let, let's actually see if we have anything uh, new for them. Just because it's been a little while since we checked. So let's go over to habitat. Let's go to Siberian tiger for the species. And so we, and I'm like, we don't really need anything. But I guess we could always check. So there it is right there. 
we'd always check if they, oh yeah, and then we have like climbing things. Do we have any climbable stuff? We do, yeah, we have a large climbable thing right here. I'm, these guys don't need any, they don't require any climbable area, this one right here. But as we saw from them climbing the tree over there, it's not necessarily a bad thing, I guess. Especially right here in this middle area right here. That'd be pretty cool to see them climbing around on that. So, hey, $204, I'll, I'll place that down right there. And we already have the little baby on there, dude. So that's awesome. Nice. I need to remove that rock, though. Oh, God. Yeah, see, whenever I picked up that rock, that uh, that, that tiger over there got boxed up for some strange reason. So that sucks. But let's, uh, let's actually... Yeah, these ones just got boxed up. <laughs> see, that happens all the time. Let's just move these rocks like that. That's fine. All right. There you go. And, uh, oh, they got automatically unboxed right there, so that's good. This guy's like, he's just completely passed out right now, so that's, that's good. He's in the sun warming up and stuff. Maybe when he wakes up, he's going to be like, oh man, there's a big climbable area over here. I'm going to climb all over that. And hopefully climb to the top and not use that as a, <laughs> a jumping point to jump out of here, right? Hopefully it's not a thing. Oh my god, there's like a carcass outside of the, of the thing right here. What in the world? <laughs> there's like fish and stuff near a ribcage. That's disgusting. All right, well, yeah, we just have to wait until uh, the Cosmic Hell Milkshake area or shop is done being researched and we can slip that in right there, so that's going to be great. But for right now, uh, I don't know if I want to place anything else this way. I really like how we have the trees and stuff there, and we already have some shops over here. We don't really need any more, you know, especially because we have the, the toilets there, we have the exhibits here, so I think we're good. Uh, maybe in the future if we get a bunch of shops, I guess I could add more over here. Or maybe I'll just add them, like, over here instead. That way they're not all in, like, one spot. Especially because, I'm like, this is so close to the shops we have over here. And, of course, that's pretty close to the shops we have over here. So, eh, I don't think we really need too many shops. Unless unless we see people complaining, oh, man, the, the lines for X is too long or whatever. Then we'll get another shop, I suppose. But anyways, uh, something I noticed while looking at people's comments about the park. Oh, another thing is done. Oh, wait, no, power transformer is failing. Ooh, definitely get a uh, mechanic to come over here, though. There you go. Let's see. What is the, uh, every year? No, let's go to, like, every three months. Yeah, let's do every three months right there. I guess I never, uh, modified that thing to be inspected more frequently. But, yeah, I, I was looking at the comments people were talking about the park and all that kind of stuff, you know, over here. People were like, oh, yeah, the ticket prices are good, the zoo is great, the place has good scenery, <laughs> they're glad the toilets are free, and they're still complaining about it being cold, but not quite as much as earlier. But they were also saying, oh, it looks like they got rid of it now, though. But they were also saying, oh, man, I can't believe this, this zoo has zero ATMs. So I placed down ATMs over here. There's an ATM there, ATM over here, another ATM there, and another ATM over here because this is a huge shopping center over here, you guys. So giving these guys as many ATMs as they need just so, you know, if they need any more money, they can get it easily. And then I put another ATM over here by the uh, information booth towards the front of the park. So we've got that there. And you guys might have already seen it, but we have a uh, an ATM over here by the toilets. And uh, I, I do want to place another one over here on the other side of the milkshake plot, or spot, but uh, I guess plot could also work for that too. But uh, I, I didn't place one down just yet, because I was waiting for the milkshake place to be done. Uh, well, at the time I thought it was a juice place, but where would this even be? Merchandise? Uh, zoo entrance? Finance? Oh yeah, finance. Okay, there you go. So I guess we just slip it like right there, that'd be fine. All right. But yeah, it, it seems like we're doing pretty well right now, you guys. Park-wise, like I said earlier. Uh, we're setting up these new shops, the toilet stalls over here. Uh, oh yeah, and I never even really showed off the exhibit area over here, but yeah, basically it looks like the, uh, the exhibit area over here that we built. I said I was going to make it look basically like that, and that's what we got going on over here. Uh, with, you know, four exhibits right next to each other using the same building. Uh, we've got the education boards there, we've got the donation bins on the outside. I even have a uh, Do Not Disturb or whatever sign right there. And another one over here, that way uh, we have a little bit of security rating over here. Benches over here, torches. Uh, trash cans, all that kind of stuff. So we, we've got ample amounts of uh, stuff for our guests over here. But of course, we don't have any critters in there just yet. So let's definitely, uh, you know what? Let's not pause. Let's, let's keep the game running right now. And uh, let's go to exhibit trading and see what we have that uh, we can put in here. So I guess we can just sort it by appeal rating. So boa constrictor. Ooh, I do not think we have that. I think the one we have now is the, where is it? I think it's the Huff Adder? I think so, yeah. Eastern Brown Snake, ooh. But he, the Boa Constrictor, that's a really good rating. That's top rated thing, 2400 uh, appeal rating. So that's good, let's adopt that. Send it to the zoo. Where do I want to put that on this corner, maybe? I don't think they're all corners, but <laughs> which corner do I want to put it on? Hmm. 
Uh, I guess I'll, I'll put it on this one. There we go. We'll put it on that one. Ooh, it's kind of like a uh, jungle theme inside there right there. So that's kind of cool. Green iguana. I think we have the Antillian iguana, right? So we could get the green iguana. Uh, Gila monster. We already have that. Common death adder. We have the puff adder. Yeah, so we, we could get that. But I do want to get a p good variation of uh, species and stuff too, you guys. Like types of critters. Like we have two snakes now. I don't, I don't think I want to get a third snake. We already have a spider type creature with the Mexican red knee, I think. I think it was the Mexican red knee tarantula. So I guess we could get a, uh, a scorpion. That'd be pretty cool. We can get a desert hairy scorpion. I don't think we have that yet, right? Uh, oh god, we have stuff going on right now. Oh yeah, it's not in its ideal temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's definitely set that real quick, you guys. Because we have the game running and all that kind of stuff. So let's open up the Zoopedia for this guy. We just get a shortcut to it right there. So it'd be 23 to 31 degrees Celsius and 60 to 80 percent. So we can do like 26 degrees right there and 70 percent uh, humidity. So let's definitely set that to make sure. So uh, what was that? 26 degrees right there. There you go. And what did I say? 70% uh, humidity right there. So there we go. So that should be good. And then set this thing to boa constrictor and set this one to boa constrictor as well. So there you go. All right. So we have that set up right there. And uh, hopefully people start using those donation bins right there, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. He's still complaining about that, but it shouldn't be for too long. Uh, still not in the ideal temperature. It'll take a little while there. But uh, oh, mechanic research is done, though. We can get the milkshakes. Uh, shelters and climbing. Ooh, so we have that one and the drink shop, so that's cool. And vet research, too. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look at the uh, Siberian tiger to see, like, if we can give them anything. I guess I should uh, check up on them and see if they're complaining about, oh, man, this toy, I'm getting bored of this toy or whatever. Uh, not really. They, they still really like the pinata. A lot of toy enrichment over here is still doing pretty well. If anything, the blood scent marker has deteriorated quite a lot. It's down to 35 out of 50. So maybe I'll get rid of that and place uh, something else in this place if I could find it real quick. I just don't know where I put it. Is this... A, oh, is that it right there? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so we can get rid of that thing. Let's figure out, like, what we haven't placed down. Oh, yeah, we placed down the climbing thing. That's what I did earlier. Uh, but toys, blood scent marker. Fire hose ball. I guess we could do that. Scratching post. Okay, let's do a, a scratching post. Let's put it on this corner. Seems like a pretty good spot to put it, you guys. So there you go. Put a scratching post right there. That seems pretty good. And, uh... Oh. Oh, man, about to inbreed right here. Ooh, let's make sure that does not happen. How do I prevent that from happening? Just getting rid of him, I guess. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can actually do anything to uh, to prevent that. So, yeah, I guess we'll just get rid of him, you guys. So I assume the the doll sheep that we have, species, uh, where would they be? Uh, oh, man. Yeah, we only have a few of them this time, so that's kind of interesting. So that'd be failing. That'd be this one right here. So I guess I'll get rid of you. 12.9 years old. The male's pretty young, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should probably get rid of the females. Yeah, they're getting pretty old. Might be a little bit too late to uh to, to take them out of the park if I, if I you know, wait until they're elderly or whatnot. But at least a while. I assume they're doing pretty well right now. I can't really check. Uh, I guess I'll just select one real quick. That way we can see what their actual, uh like, release to wild rating is and see if it's good or not. But let's see. Release to wild. Oh, man. Conservation rating. Yeah, it's only one star. Lifespan remaining two stars, fertility remaining two and a half. Fertility gene is good, though, but I guess I'll still release it to the wild, or... Maybe have, like, seven conservation credits. Yeah, I, I think I think what I'm going to do for both of those females is, is, is send them to the trade center and then trade them. There you go. I guess I guess I could have just done it from here, but let's go to animal trading now. Go to, uh, animals. Oh, it take, yeah, it takes a second for them to pop up there, and boom. There you go. And now I can select both and do a quick trade for $263 right there. So, yeah, sure. There you go. We just got rid of them right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we do have a uh, pregnant one right now, though, which I think is, like, actually the only other one we have in the park. So I guess we could adopt new ones, you guys. It's been a little while, so hey, might as well get some doll sheep, right? So let's try and find some doll sheep here. And let's actually sort it by this way. Here we go, doll sheep. So let's try and find some females that are worthy. So 10 years old? Yeah, sure, why not? That one has a pretty good rating. It's a male. 10 year old right here. There's another one right there. I guess I'll just straight up get that one. <laughs> or actually, I'll do the uh, peel and then do the uh, uh, species. So let's go down to doll sheep and let's see what the highest rated one would be. No, oh, I guess it doesn't work like that. Okay. Oh man, this one's a gold. Ooh. Sophia. She has 39 conservation credits to buy her. So I or adopt her. So I, I guess we'll get her. Seems like a pretty good one right there. Let's get her. Let's get. Let's see. Any other ones that are pretty good, highly rated and whatnot. Yeah, I guess we'll get this one, Winona. There you go, get another one right there. Sure, why not? I'm like, we have the money, might as well spend it. 
Uh, there's like a regular one right there. I'm just looking at like the highest rated ones. I guess if we get these right here, just because hey, why not, right? Pretty young, eight years old, eleven year old, not right there. So we're we're getting a pretty good variety right there. So that's good. So that now is unpaused. Let's go to the trade center, animal storage, and let's send to zoo and let's send him over here. So that should be good. Oh gosh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, is this the pregnant one? Uh, oh yeah, offspring is due February year 22, so pretty soon I guess we can give it the contraceptive. Right now, just because I, I, I just want to get rid of it. <laughs> just trade it out, and uh, that way we have all new females in here. What is this one, a male or female? Or... Okay, so it's probably going to fight with its heckin' dad once it's, uh, once it's an adult, so that's going to be unfortunate here pretty soon. Oh, I'm going to have to turn the light back on right there, so that's good. Look at that, people are using the ATM. I could... I wonder how many, uh, how much money has gone through this profit this period now. Yeah, nothing right there. Uh, it doesn't say, like, how much money has, like, run through the ATM, though, so that's unfortunate. But, yeah, we should have the milkshake place now, so let's go here, go up slash, and Street Fox Coffee. Oh, yeah, Cosmic Cow Milkshakes, noise. So it's like this building, rotate around, and slip it in right there, noise. All right, so we have Cosmic Cow Milkshakes right there. Let's go over to Constructions, Cosmic Cow, which one is that? Milkshake sign large, milkshake sign small, oh gosh. Milkshake sign merch. Uh, yeah, I don't know which sign I'd put here, you guys. Both of the signs are pretty big. Uh, let me go to milkshake. Yeah, that, that's the only, I guess I just put this here then. Because I can't fit the other signs there, so I guess I'll just put this milkshake sign here then. <laughs> there you go, and then put, of course, put a, uh, a sign in the street right there, so there you go. Very nice. So I think we're doing pretty well right now, you guys. We got drink, food and drink right there, and another information booth right there. We're doing pretty well. Nice. Not bad. How are we doing over here with the doll sheep, though? Yep, the doll sheep just got delivered over here, so that's great. How do they, what do they think of the place? Oh, here's the highly rated one right there, so that's cool. Uh, oh, 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 the game is cra- Oh, yep, the game crashed. <laughs> but anyways, let's, let's see how much progress we potentially lost right there. Uh, so we're looking at the doll sheep. Which ones? Is this the inbreeding thing? Oh, it was! Oh my gosh, that set us back a while. Golly, okay. Yeah, we have all these guys over here, and then I'm going to make this one, yeah, go on to contraceptives. Uh, take this one, send it to the Trade Center. Yeah, send the Trade Center. Send this one to Trade Center, and then just trade them away. Yeah, I'm going to have to do all that stuff again, you guys. Holy heck. And then, uh, there they are right there. Yeah, I'm going to... Have to well, at least we're getting a little bit more money out of them this time, like 13 more dollars or whatever. <laughs> so I guess that's an upside right there. But I, I guess I'm going to have to adopt those, those highly rated females if I could even still find them here. They're even still available. Uh, well, oh yeah, there she is right there, Sophia. So we can get her... Uh, send to zoo, just put it right there. Back to animal trading. I think it was already going to take me back to animal trading. But yeah, I, I, I guess I'll have to go back through the species list over here. Oh, do it this way. And, and figure out which ones we had. Zadie? Did we have a, a buffalo or a bison named Zadie? I think we did, I don't know. I'm going to adopt that one though, because it's a pretty good rating. Uh, I guess I'll get that one right there. And Arya, get her too. And Embry? Yeah, sure, why not? And I think that's all the female doll sheep like at all <laughs> let's go to zoopedia though uh how many how, how many popular oh gosh yeah one male and 39 females or up to 39 females there so yeah that's going to be a while and oh yeah we have fun facts for these guys too so i guess before i pause and, and redo all that actually you know what i don't think i really need to do too much uh we could probably get away with just redoing it on camera i don't think it really matters too much uh, we were going to the exhibits and all that kind of stuff anyway, so it's not really going to be too big of a deal. But yeah, there were fun facts over here for the doll sheep. I don't think I ever read them out loud. I don't know if I ever did it for the reindeer either. Uh, but we could also do it for the uh, for the boa constrictors and all the uh, exhibit animals we have from earlier too, I'm sure. But anyways, fun fact number one, when a male doll sheep clashes horns, the sound can be heard a kilometer away. Whoa. Fun fact number two, doll sheep are known to travel 10 miles out of their way to visit mineral-rich areas where they lick the soil to acquire nutrients they don't get from their grazing diet. Ooh, interesting there. Just literally traveling 10 miles <laughs> just to lick some rocks. <laughs> uh, fun fact number three, though, male doll sheep can be aggressive when competing from females and have been known to ram each other off cliffs. Ooh, I definitely believe that, golly. Fun fact number four, the age of a doll sheep can be estimated based on the growth rings on their horns. Ooh, so kind of like a tree where you cut it down, see the see how many rings it has? That's interesting, I didn't know that was a thing. I wonder if that's the same thing with all things that have horns and antlers and stuff like that. I wonder, oh, maybe it's just the doll sheep, I don't know. Fun fact, maybe I'll mention it for the uh, reindeer, if that's actually the case. Fun fact number five, during winter months, doll sheep feed on frozen sedges in the snow 
and lichen from rocks. Interesting. So not only do they lick the rocks, but they eat the heckin' things that grow on the rocks. <laughs> all right, well, that's all the fun facts we have for the, uh, the doll sheep right there. I guess we can go down to reindeer and see if anything is familiar there, because I feel like we didn't read anything about them. But we might have. I just forgot about it. Uh, let's see here. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't think I read these fun facts, so let's read some reindeer fun facts, shall we? Fun fact number one, there are 12 living sub subspecies of reindeer and two extinct subspecies. This kind of sounds familiar. Did I? I might have just read like one or two. North American reindeer caribou. I feel like I read this. Maybe I didn't read all of them. Fun fact number three, reindeer are the only species of deer where both males and females grow antlers. I don't think I read that before. That sounds interesting. Although in some reindeer subspecies, the females have lost their antlers. Ooh. So not all reindeers have antlers, but some, uh, some of the all reindeers have antlers. <laughs> Fun fact number four, reindeers shed. Yeah, I, I guess we just only read maybe the first two or something like that. But yeah, fun fact number four, reindeers shed their antlers every year so new ones can grow. Interesting. Males shed their antlers at the end of the mating season and females shed theirs after they have given birth. Ooh. I wonder if we could see that. Like if we have a pregnant female reindeer, if she gives birth, if she's just not going to have antlers. Or if it's just going to be a small little stump or something like that. That'd be kind of cool to see. Just like uh, with the uh, with the Arctic Wolves to see if like a brand new baby has like, what was it, blue eyes or something? Or orange eyes? I forget which one it was. Leave a comment down below if you guys remember. <laughs> well, let's go down to fun fact number five. The most mature and dominant reindeer stags have the largest antlers. Ooh, so yeah, a lot of antler facts over here for the reindeers. So that's pretty cool. Glad I'm, I'm taking my time to read a little bit more about these guys and read those fun facts. I hope you guys are liking that as well. 